In this study, we investigated the contribution of rare genetic variation to a complex disease such as heart failure. For this, we performed whole exome sequencing of more than 5,000 patients coming from two AstraZeneca clinical studies. These patients had both preserved and reduced ejection fraction and had different clinical etiologies, primarily ischemic. We performed two types of analysis. First, we compared the cases with heart failure to a control database. And what we found is that one gene, titing, a known cardiomyopathy gene, was significantly enriched in the cases compared to controls. We validated these results in the UK Biobank, which is a population database. Secondly, we performed a diagnostic analysis looking at known cardiomyopathy genes, and what we found is that 3.4% of patients with heart failure had a pathogenic or likely pathogenic variant in one of these genes, irrespective of whether they had preserved or reduced ejection fraction and irrespective of their clinical presentation. Although there have been many studies looking at common variation in heart failure, this is one of the first and largest studies looking at rare variation in this disease. The fact that we have found very similar enrichment of the titan gene, both in clinical trials and in the UK Biobank, which is a population-based cohort, is reassuring and hints at the results of clinical studies being a reflection of the general heart failure population. The diagnostic analysis showed that a small proportion of patients with heart failure harbor mutations in known cardiomyopathy genes, irrespective of their clinical classification and irrespective of whether they have preserved or reduced ejection fraction, suggesting that genetics may add additional complementary information to their current clinical classification. We performed this work together with Columbia University, with which we have a long-standing, very fruitful collaboration. I think the fact that the first and the second author in this publication are postdocs at Columbia and AstraZeneca respectively, speaks to the value of the postdoc programs. I hope this is the first of many studies looking at the impact of rare variation in heart failure. There are many open questions still under trying to understand the impact of rare variation, for example, in disease progression or in treatment response.